God, that Gears of War feeling. Oh, 60 FPS, next gen Gears of War. I am so pumped for this. I managed to get the Gears of War beta uh, as soon as I could. I got the code really quickly after signing up. I'll put a link to where I managed to get the code from. You get it on the Gears of War website, I believe. Um, and it's really, really simple to get it, but for some reason, some people aren't getting it, some people are, I got it. You actually get one code for the beta to download it, and you get another one to activate it. So, this is a nice little gameplay of me using the sniper, just kind of getting used to it. I think this was like my second game playing, may have been the third, I'm gonna say second. Um, this game's amazing. It brings back all the amazing things of Gears of War that we love. I think it's more based on a Gears of War 1 remake. However, the game, I think it's 60 FPS, it feels, it doesn't feel like super fast paced, it actually f makes it feel a lot slower. I don't know if that's because obviously at 30 frames a second, uh, you're only going to see so much on the screen and you're going to, you're not like jumping across the screen, but you're only going to see so much, so everything isn't as smooth, so it feels faster I guess, but, and that's why 60 FPS feels a little bit slower than that, but overall this game feels fantastic. Uh, if I were to compare the shotguns, I think this is one thing that Gears of War fans always want to know, is how do the, the shotguns feel, the Nasher. Uh, I would say it feels a lot more like the Gears of War 2 shotgun when it was good. There was this, after the first patch in Gears of War 2, they actually made the shotguns not complete arseholes. And uh, it became usable, however for some reason the hip fire always shot downwards at the floor, which is why it then got patched, but it also got... A damage patch which meant it was even worse and it was back to where it started it reminds me a lot of that which is actually where I thought Gears of War 2 was the best after the first patch and then they patched it like 50 times after that and it just never recovered from that from my from my perspective I really enjoy this um, I am NOT the best sniper I'm gonna be honest with you uh, I, it was always a struggle for me to get hold of it especially at 30 frames a second and sometimes the hosts on Gears of War were really hit and miss. It wasn't until Gears of War 3 I actually got used to it because I had dedicated servers. Um, but I I'm okay at sniping. I think 60 frames a second the dedicated servers do help me a lot in this game because you can practically shoot where they actually are instead of having to aim in front of them. In the old Gears you basically had to guess where they were and guess where the hitbox was to be able to hit a headshot but this one is a lot more uh, reliant on you actually being able to hit them on the head where they are. But yeah, fantastic. I'm enjoying it so much. Um, they've really kind of made it basic. They've gone back to basics with this. You start with a Nasher and a Lancer. Uh, the pickups are normal, like on Gridlock. You know, you've still got the Hammer Burst where they were from Gears 1. You've got the Sniper, the Boom Shot, and that's kind of it. There are some features like the pistol zoom in you can do now, which has been in the previous Gears of War installments, which is back, things like that. You can target people on your radar, but overall, a lot of it is very Gears of War 1-esque, very Gears of War 1-based, and that's probably people's favorite Gears of War, so I, I suppose it makes sense to go back, to make the ultimate edition of it, go back to that. Now, it's not like the Master Chief Collection for Halo, at least not on the beta. I don't know if it would be in the final one is where, um, all the games are, you've got all the different versions, so you've got Gears 1, Gears 2, Gears 3 kind of multiplayer going on. I think you've just got this one single uh, multiplayer which kind of brings in the simplicity of Gears of War 1 and brings all the good stuff of the other Gears after that. You know, the little things that make Gears that much sweeter and better and more polished. Um, and that's how it is basically. It's not like a Master Chief Collection, which would have been cool But I think also there's a lot of things that people don't like about previous gears And they kind of just want to go back to the basics and I know they're working on gears 4 at the moment Which got announced at E3 yesterday, so that's always cool uh, And probably their focus is on that rather than uh, reskinning every single gears war But I believe in the ultimate edition you get the campaigns for gears 1, 2 and 3 If I'm not mistaken, so I might have to correct me on that one um but I'm loving it. If you can get the beta, I highly recommend it. Like, I remember when Halo Master Chief Collection came out and you got the 60 FPS Halo. Like, if I could actually cry, um, I probably would have because it was so beautiful to play a game that I played so many hours on. Something that had really changed me in terms of gaming forever. Finally get the 60 frame per second upgrade it deserved and this was exactly the same. I was just like, oh my god, 60 FPS, I'm so amazed! 
But yeah, that's going to be the gameplay. Nice, short, and cool little gameplay. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like rate, and I'll see you later. Enjoy this final clip.